So, hello everyone, Monday need time for nobles, 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 noble? I, I don't know how to express it, whatever. This is now, you know, cute vampire boys and me, right? Like Twilight, something. something like that, you know, pretty vampire boys. And um, it's the, today then is the last first impression day of anime, right? So we're gonna have one more anime after this today, which is the Romeo and Juliet, Romeo and Juliet kind of anime, which I think is gonna be a good anime. So we have this two lessons here, and yeah, it's interesting, right? Getting to the end here of seeing the, all the new animes and so on. And also Tekken Titan uh, without the day, but uh, but yeah, this is probably an anime I think is gonna have a lot of uh, female fans, <laughs> like Twilight. Yeah, probably. Anyway, there's a more thing. So three, two, one, and go. I get money view and so afterwards. Let's see what I think. Um, but yeah, mm. I slept like sixteen hours tonight, so uh, I don't know, man. Yeah, I had a headache yesterday. Yeah, I had a headache in the bed. So it's like 16 hours, Jesus Christ. So I'm not really tired now, you sleep too much to get tired. Okay. Starting us on drama here in the woods. Some vampires, monsters. I suppose in the woods here. The Union, oh my god, it's like some kind of American Civil War. It's a Union coming. It's a Confederate guy. I don't know about that. Hopefully someone got my historical, okay, and then like a ninja or something, I don't know, some kind of stealth kill. Hmm. They probably burn like a science lab, given that people run out there, yeah. So is, is that sort of like a really start massive reaction here? I see the trailer, that's like pretty vampire boys at school or something, but... Not so pretty. Not so pretty. Where's my pretty vampire boys? Well, this guy's ugly. He's probably evil. Oh, interesting. So kind of wind attack with his. So kind of wind attack with his uh, knife there. Okay, he's pretty though. This the hacker. Guy. <laughs> he's a... What? He's controlling him with his feet. Okay, this guy is super genius. Okay, see, he's like controlling the droid with his feet or something. This guy is pretty, pretty impressive. Okay, there we go. It's a pretty boy. No, no, I mean, no, I'm ready for this anime, yeah. Okay, yeah, pretty good action. Yeah, nice. That's nice too. Yeah. They probably take they take some kind of scientist lab, right? And well, I guess that big guy is is also part of the crew. And, mm, here we go. Captain Kranz. <laughs> but it is a very action packed first minute here. They're like killing a lot of people, and. I mean, things that I have no reference to what they're doing. They're just like killing a lot of people. Okay. Okay, here we go. They go to Japan. Okay, there we go. Okay, that's kind of okay. We're going to Japan now. Hmm. This is probably the main character, right? The pretty boy right next to me here. I don't even know his name, yeah. It's Shibuya, so yeah, not in Japan, definitely. Upside down cross at his uh, earrings, yeah, yeah, of course, of course, of course. But I mean, yeah, I guess we're gonna fight these crazy murderous guys, right? I mean, the thing is that those guys that killed everyone, they were so ugly. Most of them, one of them were pretty, but most of them were ugly, right? So they can't be the good guys. <laughs> so, yeah, they're looking too ugly. The other guys look more prettier, yeah. They're very bishonen, so it's like, these are clearly the good guys because they're, they're so much more bishonen. Come on. The cat is bishonen level, like, you know, that has to be how good you are. Hmm. Okay. 
like a crimson ring. Maybe it's kind of blood magic, perhaps, given the opening there. I mean, Nikki is a kind of vampire thing, right? So then he has a lot of yeah, blood. I'm guessing some blood magic, right? Some blood magician with his like ring and controlling the his own blood, melting blood. Yeah, so now we already know it. School is like a school anime, pretty much in school. Yeah, now this is the anime I expect it to be. <laughs> this is what I expect most anime to be. This redhead is probably a geeky guy. Oh, here we go. All the girls are like, oh my god! What a hot guy! Yeah, here we go. <laughs> exactly, here we go. Oh, hot guy! <laughs> now he saw it! Okay, that's good. That's good, okay. That's a good fort volume. He could, he could see the hearts. So there wasn't this, like, a, they actually did turn into hearts. I love that, yeah. They were actually literally turning into hearts. It wasn't just, like, a visual, uh, you know. Mm, okay, so he has. It wasn't a card, he was. Oh, here we go. Hmm. So they are like a built. A weird wolf, perhaps? I'm thinking like vampire wolf, but I guess he's like a... Yeah, they got they, This is like... I'm guessing he's like a human they have, you know, modified, right? Yeah, like turn him into a mutant or something. Mmm, yeah, some kind of evolution. Yeah, they're probably humans they have developed to have powers, right? Where these guys are like, probably born vampires or something. Yeah, I think the main characters, right, are kind of like... They're probably born with their powers, right? But these guys then, and probably the other guy, they probably like, got their powers from some weird experiments, yeah. And there wasn't Terrasque powers. He's the only one to survive. For now, they probably have, of course, they have probably more people they have experimented on. Hmm. There clearly gonna be people like him that are creating powers, clearly. My students. It's gonna have a flash better later, probably. He's that classic, super dedicated. Yeah, I think he's thinking of uh, Hubert in Fire Emblem for me. <laughs> but he's that super classic, like, I live and die for my master. Yeah, he's that. Very, very, you know, incredibly uh, dedicated right hand man. Yeah, it's like I will do anything that my. Um, yeah, yes, master! Here we go. Just hiding in his. I feel the half anime is gonna be girls getting like, oh my god, he's so hot! <laughs> yeah, that's. I feel this half anime, and all the girls are gonna be like, oh my god, oh, oh my god, so attractive! There doesn't seem to be a lot of female character leads though. No, it's to be only be male characters, right? But this is like a lot of like fangirls in the size in the anime. He wants to do it too, yeah, it's very important. I guess it was Pen, what he, he had in the. Uh, And he sits down, and all the girls are like, "Oh my God, he's so hot!" <laughs> it's like I'm guessing it's a zero female character anime, except just 
they have, they have zero, you know, actual, you know, character females. So it's gonna be females, kind of extra character, like going around being like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, man. I don't know, that's pretty smart though, yeah, that's pretty smart, you see it a lot actually in college, all right, people taking photos of, yeah, I mean, I'm an old man, so I went to college for many years ago, but even, so during my kind of college time, right, that, that was kind of when it started, people having, you know, good smartphones that you could, you know, tape their lectures and so on, yeah, it's kind of during that period when they kind of started being a thing, so, I thought a lot actually, especially when I worked, my job before, during the, uh, the sickness, yeah, uh, my boss, he always took photos of everything, yeah, all the drawings we did and all the so on, yeah. I think it's smart, why not write? Why write down, you can just take a photo of the teacher's uh, notes, yeah, it's, it's way better, way more effective. Of course, he's the actual boss, right, he's just pretending. To be, uh... but I mean, I'm sure that he's, you know, the director, so speak. He's just <laughs> this is suspicious though. When you're standing on top of the roof, the ceiling, on the roof of the school, like yes, these students here, yeah. <laughs> I was wondering why no one ever sees these characters standing on the edge of a building, like being like, look at that kid over there. He got some powers, yeah. Like, why can, why can no one ever see that? He's probably very old, right? I don't know how old he is, but... Hmm, okay, he's been sleeping. He's been asleep for a while, like, sure, he's like a vampire, right? like a Dracula, whatever. He's probably been sleeping for, like, 100 years or something. I mean, it's pretty obvious, I haven't said it yet, but... A tin key is some kind of vampire, right? Something like that. But it's blood magic, but... He clearly is as weak as the sun. He can clearly stand in the sun, so I mean, that's one thing you can see here. Because before, it could have been some kind of protective... I I'm just saying, before, because I've seen a lot of vampire stuff, right? Before, it could have been, like, protective glasses inside the school or something, right? But now he's standing on the on the roof in the sun, so he can't be weak against the sun. Maybe he is, but, like, I, I don't know, but... It could be the ring to the opening, something, maybe it takes him. But he could also be a half-vampire, right, so... Daphne, yeah, a daywalker. Huh. I guess he's trying to learn the new technology. I guess just he, he's probably trying to adapt into a new modern life, right? Trying to learn this gaming and uh, phones and numbers and so on. Yeah. This guy is like, super, I'm a smartphone master, like, yes. <laughs> oh my god, emojis? Man, he's getting, he's getting leveled up now in the... The union, yeah, as mentioned earlier. <laughs> From master, like he's like master. <laughs> yeah. How's it going? <laughs> he's like learning to do emojis. How's it going, bro? Yeah, it's like um, interesting, master. <laughs> that was good. He's gonna remember all his dead friends, I guess. The experiment. To reach right because they're like old, so they're, they have a lot of money. Yeah, they're like they bought some Apple stock, or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, you know, like they're they're old, so they have like investment. They have like interest on interest for like thousand years. Yeah, so they're super rich, right? Oh, here we go, though. It's gonna be a hot guy in this car, though. Come on, this girl's gonna be. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be a hot model guy. 
Definitely coming up in this card. The girls are gonna be crazy how hot he is. Come on. Not this guy, but other guy. <laughs> I was like, come on, it has to be some. Okay, and there's some random. Oh, wait. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's like, yeah, it's like they have to have some, you know, girl with them because they're bad. I don't know. Not the old man! Not that poor old man guy. He looks so tiny too, yeah, he looks like he's like, a, I don't know, like he looks like he's five feet something. Oh, here he goes, the red head guy. He's kicking out some powers. Oh yeah, with the broken arm too. It's just a, an actual protection. <laughs> it's an actual shield or something. That definitely helps so that he's like, yeah! Oh, he saved her because... She's like, wow, he's so pretty though. <laughs> but he has a power shot, come on, he can't just take... Yeah, this is kind of, uh, this is kind of like coming to the storyline. He saved his girl from falling down, so he's gonna beat him up or something. And also ever at the whole school. And man, these are some ridiculous tongue characters. But he's clearly not a human, right? He's clearly like a modified human or something. There's no way this guy is a normal human. This is no way. <laughs> it's like, oh, you do something? <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> yeah. Man, these tag guys are so ridiculous, though. I have to say, yeah, I don't like this in the animes. Yeah, where it's like, oh, you talk, you touch my girl for a minute, or a minute, second, I mean, yeah. Oh, I'm gonna kill you. It's like, come on. The bad guys here are so ridiculous. Like, who would do this? Um. He's a giant to this guy. Yeah, it's like. It's pretty good fight, yeah, they feel like it's a weight in the fight, so yeah, it's a pretty good uh, how they animate the actual punches and so on. And this poor old man, he's like, he's like a little... He looks so tiny, even even early he looks really tiny. Here we go, he's fighting a fight here now. After the student got beaten up, yeah, he's gonna wait until he's, like, after he's damaged. Okay, so what can he do then? He has a kind of weird wolf claw or something. It's clearly not human. <laughs> it's like, I can't, yes! Oh yeah. Well, it's probably gonna be exposed to a non-human now, is they? To throw into his corner. Yeah, that was a mistake. He ruined someone else's corner, so he threw into his hot corner. That would have been way better, yeah. So he ruined his corner, I believe, with him. That would have been way better. would be way better for everyone else if he destroyed that guy's corner instead. That, 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 that was a big mistake, I feel. I should have destroyed his hot rod, right? Yeah. And so on, you know, getting, yeah. That would have been way better. Big mistake down there, big mistake. He's ruined some innocent person's corner. Oh, he's getting that Wolverine backstory now, yeah, a Weapon X thing. He's even giving me a Weapon X feel here, right? It's like, you know, has some kind of claw things, being spared on this tube thing. Yeah, this, this screams like uh, Wolverine uh, backstory to me. 
Ah, they even have numbers like you're working like an X Man. I was 23 and I was like 12 and so on. Yeah, like 13, Phantom X 13 and so on. They even have just like we we just have number names. It's just exactly like uh, like in the Marvel. It's like New York there. Um. This is Wade here. It's the same face like Wade Wilson, you know. Yeah, he the wrong car there. Should we hit the right car? He threw me into the wrong car. Big mistake. Big mistake. Find his name. Get his members back. Man, this guy really screams like Wolverine to me. He's like, I don't remember my name and so on. Yeah, like, who am I? Who's my backstory? Where am I from? He, he really screams Wolverine in his storyline. We should make him Professor Xavier then. <laughs> I suppose we will make, which will make him, uh, yeah, the Professor. See, M24, X23, it's like, come on, it has to be, I'm, I'm just saying it again, it's super similar. I hear it probably coming, right? The, the bad guys we saw in the first minutes. Yeah, exactly, here they are. Yeah, like the X guy something, yeah, the... Coffin. Well, coffin sounds like stupid vampires, of course. No, that's a behemoth, of course. Experiments. Yeah, I feel a pretty strong episode one. Uh, I have to say I did, and I may say that earlier, I'm going back to that in the report here, but I did not like this random tax appearing. That to me is just ridiculous. The backstory of that, uh, yeah, I was like, man, that was the weakest part for me, yeah, easily. Because it's like, why, why, why suddenly it's like, oh, you touched my girl, she's falling down, or oh, I'm going to kill everyone at your school. I was like, what's happening? Like, those kind of ridiculous tag characters are just... Oh, that's so ridiculous. You're attacking a school middle of the day and brought later on someone. Yeah, that was a little ridiculous. Hmm. It's like a live action chemistry? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Alchemy place or something? Witch hut or something? The whole the ending, I mean, yeah, it's like, oh, it's just like it's a live action, there's like a camera panning over his his little production place or something, yeah. Weird ending. Some cookies, very nice. Oh, look at that. Some like syrup, something. Maybe like a blueberry syrup. <laughs> yeah. So a, f a fancy diner hall or something turned into. Yeah, it's kind of weird. It must be though of a ballroom's ending, I think, about the shadows thing from Russian Angie, I suppose. Oh, it's so the morning after anything, or a little, little more. These are probably the real bad guys, like some kind of vampire lords. The ending here, yeah, like the last second here, so sort I of mean the opening two. Those are probably the real, real bad guys, right? Yeah, like these these army guys, whatever. They are they are clearly like you know some typical human experiment gone wrong government people, right? Yeah, like these guys. They are they are probably you know. They're, I mean, for me, and I say it again here, it really screams you know Marvel, the Weapon X thing. Uh, we meet the guy being like an experiment, and his friend's name is like M24, like X23. They had this whole thing, that, you know, oh, we gave them some mutant powers, and then they escaped, and he has no memory who they are, and so on. Yeah, like, it's super, super into... It sounds very, very Marvel, but... Um, 
And these guys then, of course, also kind of, you know, ex, uh, you know, some mutant hunters or whatever, right, for the government and so on. Um, but these guys are clearly evil, right? They're clearly evil. But the other guys we saw the last second there, so also in the opening, they are probably some kind of, you know, super old vampire lords that have like a kind of vampire clan or something, right, controlling the underworld. So they are probably the main bad guys, right? The actual bad guys, like, you know, I mean, they're probably both bad, right? But I mean, these are like some kind of, you know, government crazy people, right? And the other people are like some ancient, uh, you know, evil clan that has a lot of power, probably. So these are probably minor bad guys compared to those vampire lord guys, I suppose, because they look like a kind of royal vampire, right, with their clothes and so on. Um, but yeah, like, the their fight looked pretty good. Their fight looked really good animated when they were fighting and so on. The fight at the school and so on was kind of like, whatever. This, this was much better when they, when they were fighting in the beginning. They looked a lot better. Um, I mean, I don't know. Kind of saw shit, you know. As I expected, though, it was definitely a lot of, like, you know, girls being like, Oh my god, he's so hot! Oh, pretty boy! <laughs> yeah, that was, as I expected, like, there was, like, four or five of those scenes, right, where all the girls were like, Oh my god! Oh, oh my god! He's so hot! Oh, oh, photos! Oh my god, can I kiss him? Uh, that was a lot, a lot of that, that's what I expected, yeah. Like, this is very anime, you know, with pretty boys. I love that he saw the hearts though. The heart, the eyes turned into hearts. That's a good fourth wall. It's like my God, the eyes are turning into hearts. Like yeah, you can see that they were turning into hearts. Um, but um, but it's a fact that strange though how this anime was strange, but it seems very you know I don't say yaoi, but very boy and boy and it's like, like you know like it seems to be only be male characters, right? Yeah, I mean yes, there are girls in the anime world, but all the girls are just purely like you know oh my god yeah it's like no actual female character has any other personality trait than just being very very thirsty for the main characters that's the only female character that exists that are they all have one personality they're just thirsty i was like okay that was a little bit like you're all just thirsty right um but yeah i think these kind of things lowers the, the you know the, the, the episode one i think it's a weak part for these kind of characters yeah for me it was really weak i think so right we gotta see this guy coming in and fight the Mr. One, and this all, you know, cliche and so happen, right? But I think that their, their motivation that he was he saved his girl from falling when she was going over the like the the also the passageway, yeah, like or, or, or the road, yeah. That that was like really? I mean, sure, but no, no, I felt that was just ridiculous. He's going in with his bros and they're like, you know, grabbing some, you know, they're like kidnapping some girls and you know, Attacking people, beating up some random old man. You touched my girl for a second. I'm gonna kill everyone at your school in the middle of broad daylight with all the witnesses. Who would do this? Come on, like this is ridiculous. Uh, yeah, I'm not a big fan of these tag characters. Uh, not because they don't like you know tag Yankees or what. No, but it's like there's a difference between being a bad guy, right, doing crimes or whatever and so on, and also just being ridiculously stupid. Sure, you can you can argue that most people are really stupid. You can argue for that, I suppose. But if it's so unnecessary that wouldn't you maybe, you know, beat up that redhead guy after school when he's alone? Would you really go to the school, right? It seems a little bit, a little bit too much, right, I suppose. And, <laughs> and yeah, if I, it, it depends to what he's done to, right? But he, what he did was like, he saved the girl from falling down. So it's like, yeah, like it's just, this guy just felt so incredibly unmotivated to be this. I mean, it's one thing that if you like, he slept with his girlfriend, if you come and beat him up. Yeah, that would be one thing, right? But this is like, oh, he... Save her, but she's falling down, and, and now it's gonna kill him. Yeah, it felt like the fact that, that you know the, the scale of his anger is like a high risk reward thing, right? He's taking a huge risk to beating up a guy that just saved his girl from falling down. You know, and it's a huge risk because everyone can see him, the cops might come, and so on. Yeah, it's like a ridiculous risk to do that versus the actual gain because the gain is just this guy touched my girlfriend just briefly for a second when she was falling down, he saved her, and then you know, he moved away. So it was like. Yeah, like, I think this guy here felt just so unrealistically angry at him. Uh, it should have been something else, I felt, to, to make him come here. So that was, to me, disappointed me, because, like, that could have been written so much better, right? It could have been that his girl was not in love with him because something else. It, it should be something bigger, I think. It should be something bigger, right? To make him be this angry and motivated to actually take the risk to go and fight him at school. So whatever, I digress, but I think that was a little bit... Unnecessary to me that it was such a weak motivation for him to take a huge risk to attack them in the middle of broad daylight with all these people seeing it, the whole school seeing it and so on. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit like, I mean, it wasn't like he, you know, fl flirted with your girl even. Yeah, like he was the absolute bare minimum. Like he stared at your girl for a second. Ah, oh, come on. But I don't know, the episode was good, but I think this guy's motivation was just very too flimsy. <laughs> Anyways, so you can see we take on Titan, Scrappy, Slap, and so on. And of course, again, then they have those 